Prince George of the Jungle, friend to you and me. <laughs> Watch out for that tree. Now when he gets in a straight, he'll make his escape with the help of his friend, an ape named Ape. And then away he'll shut on his elephant chef while Maggie and Ursula stay in step. I said, George, George, George of the Jungle, friend to you and me. <laughs> Watch out for that tree. Far from the eyes and ears of George of the Jungle, a crack team of experts embark on a mission so dangerous they were paid in diapers. Are we making a right turn? And those diapers are going to come in handy because this mission is about to go horribly wrong. in the jungle of Mwimbawe. Ah! Run away, Floyd! George, aim for the emergency hippos! Not out, Floyd! Oops, George! Oh, down! <laughs> oh, that looked like it hurt. Oh, ain't worry too much. Take these earplugs. What for? Yeah! <laughs> uh, could we have a single file line, please? Hello? How come they understand George but not me? Because you don't speak hippo? Where is George, anyway? George is inside, getting healed by head nurse Magnolia, whose hard work and dedication has made the Healing Hippo Hospital. No, no, wait. Magnolia's sparkling castle of hippo health, the jungle's premier source for warm hugs and magic. Does that mean George is okay? I put some ointment on him. <laughs> uh, what's that noise? Mr. Jungle. Oh, Mr. of the Jungle. But we don't use male names around here. Just call me George. I apologize. Pando, my card. Edward Madman? A pronounced madman. <laughs> this is Mr. Pando, my loyal and completely trustworthy associate. <laughs> Do not be frightened. His looks could kill, but he could not. <laughs> you see? To meet a legend is always disarming. <laughs> I expected you'd be... Less greasy? Uh, George just got some owie ointment. Yeah. On second thought, you are what I expected of a man raised in the jungle. Also, what I desperately need. Where can we talk? Anywhere but in a library. There is nothing like the outdoors. Do you agree, George? Oh, true. But indoors has more furniture. I just love the feeling of the earth beneath Pando's feet. So, loving nature as I do, and being a Brazilianaire, I decided to use my vast wealth to build my own jungle. You built a jungle? Yes. It's an exact duplicate of your own jungle, George, in every detail, from the twisting rivers to the berries on the trees. But just don't eat the berries that fell off of Rhino's backside. Yucky aftertaste. Good advice. <laughs> I'll remember that, Mr. Pando. I give you Isla Guapo. Bird Boop Island? Uh, that's Guano. Guapo is handsome. Oh, oh, Guano isn't. No, 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 it isn't. 
I flew in one million tons of soil, trees, birds, animals. I believe I've actually improved on your own jungle, George. Oh! <laughs> Can't improve on George's jungle. It has an ice cream stand with 55 flavors and two dozen toppings. Pando, show George the toppings. Oh, mini marshmallows! Oh. But mini marshmallows do not come for free. I need a little favor. I need a little more ointment. Three friends of mine are lost. They went into the jungle on a vacation. You want George to rescue your friends? Oh, you don't have to give George mini marshmallows for that. Oh, but I will pay you mini marshmallows and more. You and your team. Your best surveillance expert. Uh, has anyone seen my binoculars? Your muscle. <laughs> your eyes and ears in the sky. <laughs> and your master of disguise. Oh, delicious termite beard. Oh. And someone to put ointment on your owies. <laughs> Together, you'll help me find my friends, and I will be grateful. I thank you all for coming. Someone's got to keep an eye on George. Oh, she's right. I didn't know we had to take a helicopter. I'm, I'm, I'm afraid of heights. <laughs> Yeah, and when an ape gets carsick, it isn't pretty. I assure you, the helicopter is safe. And you'll find my island stocked with the most delicious bugs money can buy. I'm in. <laughs> and at the center of the island, you'll find a world-class spa. An angle body scrub, mud bath, and hair mask? Why, of course. Okay! are my associates I spoke of. I'm sure they've simply wandered into the jungle and are having such a good time they won't come out. <laughs> they don't look all that friendly. Oh, they're a fine bunch. You'll probably find them in the shade of a majestic volcano drinking guava nectar. <laughs> <laughs> if you could just find them before they get too much fruity fiber. Take us down nice and slow, Pando. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Isla Wapo. <laughs> which doesn't mean bird poop. <laughs> well, I'm off to my yard. <laughs> What? You, you don't want to stay out here with us? The ground is our mattress, sky is our blanket, the moon is our annoying nightlight, which you can never turn out, and with the fire ants and the overly friendly beach fleas. Oh, don't get me wrong, I love nature more than anything, but I also love fluffy blankets and flat screen TV. A fluffy blanket? Well, good night, everyone. And if you hear some weird, unnatural sounds at night, why, just ignore them. <laughs> Ta-ta! What a nice and not at all suspicious man! <sighs> More driftwood soup? Gee, thanks, no. What do we know about this madman? He says he loves the jungle, but he sleeps on a yacht a mile away. This whole thing worries me. Why? Girls are gonna get mango mud bath thingies? <sighs> I could use a bath. George gets new man-made jungle to explore. Ape gets big juicy bugs. But you're just being a big worrying Walter. A skeptical Sam. A cautious Calvin. 
Did you guys get a thesaurus or something? Indubitably. It's illustrated. <gasps> what was that? A water buffalo? You think? Not buffalo. A bit like Rhino getting wedgie, but not quite. Well, you know all the animals. What is it? George never heard this animal before. I hope they're up to the task ahead, Mr. Pando. <laughs> Mr. Pando? On the mysterious Isla Guapo, which doesn't mean Island of Bird Poop, George's crack rescue team helps the mysterious Mr. Madman find his missing friends, who are said to be having so much fun, they don't want to leave. <laughs> Meanwhile, Abe's forehead has developed squiggly lines on top. Hmm. I'm worried about those noises we heard last night. Oh, Ape is such a pessimistic Paul. Always thinks coconut is half empty. <sighs> I think that one was completely full. There, that's the spirit. I can't wait to get to that spa. Magnolia, we're not here to get our hair done. This is a serious rescue mission. Ah! Ah! Mr. Batman, mine. You startled me. Good morning, George of the Jungle, and friends. Uh, good morning. I trust that you slept well, and now it is time for you to go home. Hooray! But we need to rescue your friends. Yes, these people are safely aboard my yacht. Yacht. My yacht now. No more rescue. Hooray! <laughs> Mr. Madman? Madman! Okay, crack rescue team! Let's rescue! Ouch! Okay, looks like the fastest way to the majestic volcano is past the cave of ghostly shrieks, up Slaughter Mountain, and through Dead Man's Rock Slide? And what's a slow way? Hmm. Better ask Friendly Bird if we're going the right way. Hello. than usual. Why? <laughs> hmm. Just asking. Maybe George should climb up and see directions for himself. <laughs> hmm. oh! <laughs> George is starting to think trees don't want George to climb them. Hey, guys, where's Shep? Shep? Shep! 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 Here, boy! Uh, George, I think he went this way. Uh, <laughs> right. His tracks end here. <laughs> Bandages? Limb glue? Limb glue? No! <gasps> Please! George will save you! <laughs> it came from that way! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> 
understand anything in this jungle. <laughs> Was that Madman's friends? Was that a half tiger, half giraffe? <laughs> Glad I wasn't at that wedding. <laughs> uh, huh. George will save them. How? Luckily, there's a worn out bridge over a big pit with ropes that are just about to break. Oh, goody. Ursula, if I don't make it... I want you to send my clogs to the Museum of Shoes. Magnolia, you're going to make it. But just for the record, why can I keep them? Because my feet are naturally dainty. <laughs> the humans you brought to defeat me will never succeed, Mr. Madman and Elephant. George is the greatest jungle expert in the world. He will overcome you. Nature is harsh, Mr. Madman. Your friends will soon find out how harsh. <laughs> So, I'm a worried Walter, am I? A cautious Calvin? A... I'm a petrified Peter! <laughs> <laughs> I call him, sir? Hey, wait a minute! There is no such animal! Uh, uh, uh. Excuse me there, Mr. No Such Animal! George was wondering if you could stop chasing my friends. You're kind of scaring them. an empty metal cavity. It's more like an empty coconut. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Bet you're glad I'm here to save you, huh? <laughs> but but now you're trapped down here with us. Yes, but I brought along a crack rescue team. A robotic snake with razor sharp teeth? Oh, don't be silly. <laughs> Done. 
still. You poor robotic imitation snake that somebody made. George, <laughs> you did it. You saved us. And you saved Madman's friends. It's Mad Mon. The whole jungle is mechanical. Everything's motors and wires. The trees, the animals. Oh, boy. The control center became intelligent. It started inventing new creatures to attack us. Sanchez and Moldrick were supposed to get the inside so I could shut it down. I say we take the jungle boy with us. He was pretty handy with that snake. Uh, maybe when he gets his confidence back. <laughs> it's okay. You'll be okay. We're okay. <laughs> Shut me down? Ha! You will never shut me down. <laughs> 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 <laughs>